Snapper Snappers. Um, Mrs. Noble could not be in attendance today. She had some prior engagements. She, she asked me to come substitute to your class. So today is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. And today for, um, today for Circle Time, we're going to talk about the days of the week. Today, the day of the week is Wednesday. Um, I have a song on the YouTube that I would like you to sing along with. And the song goes, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. I would like you to sing that song along with your family on this wonderful day of Wednesday. Also today, I am told we have a young whippersnapper snapper that is turning six years old. Six years old. It's her birthday today. Chloe Kellis, happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, Mrs. K wanted me to read this book to you. It looks kind of scary. It says, don't call me a bear. She said this book would be perfect because today is April Fool's Day and um, it's about a koala bear that does not want to be called a bear. Is a koala bear a bear? No, he thinks that he is a koala, not a bear. Let's read this funny story about a koala. <clears throat> Can you guys see? I can't see very well, so I have to use these glasses. Okay. Good day, my name is Warren, and I've got something to share. Just because I'm furry doesn't mean that I'm a bear. Bear, not a bear. Hmm. I'll tell you how this started. It's been going on for years. Captain Cook said, hey, a bear. Those crazy pioneers. So this guy called this creature a bear, but he's really a koala bear. Now he does not like to be called a bear because a bear is a different animal, according to him. Um, see, if they'd done their homework, then they'd know it wasn't true. Marsupials is what we are and you should know that too. So these are all the different types of marsupials. Can you see that on there? Okay, this is a possum, this is a kangaroo, this is a wombat, this is a koala, and this is a Tasmanian devil. These are all um, in the family of marsupials. But you know what? I don't think they're being very modest. Where are their clothes? Mm -mm -mm. But if I got a dollar every time you called me bear, I tell you what, and make, make no mistake, I'd be a millionaire. Australia doesn't have bears, except some at the zoo. No bears, next 3,000 kilometers. You find bears up in Canada and polar regions too. I don't live in the USA and catch fish in a stream. Ooh, he's eating a fish. I'm not some 10 foot grizzly bear who makes the campers scream. So I have had a gutful and I'm sorry if I shout, I'm not a bear, I'm really not, and you need to sort it out. Kangaroos are kangaroos. You don't call emus chooks. A platypus is not a duck, even though that's how it looks. But why am I so different, pal? Yeah, what's your little game? Why am I the only mug you don't call by his name? Toy Koala, $7.99, sale. Oh my goodness, he scribbled out bears. Do not scribble in my books. That is not very polite. Why am I the only one in the whole entire bush? You may not be a bear mate, but you look like one. So, do you think he looks like a bear? What do you think? He looks like a different type of bear, a koala bear. Shoosh! Ooh. He's not a very polite little bear, koala bear. What a cute little bear. Yeah, bears are great. Now, how do you think that he is feeling in this story? Right here, how's he feeling? I think he's feeling grumpy, mighty grumpy. <clears throat> the end. 
that book was silly for sure. We'll have to tell Mrs. K that that book was silly because koala bears are kind of bears, but they're a different type of bear, huh? All right, now Mrs. K, she had a task for me. She wanted to, me to teach you about subtraction. And um, I have to eat these Skittles. She wants me to eat some Skittles to show you subtraction. So she wanted me to show you some, some, um, some Skittles. And she wants me to show you how to make subtraction. Now, subtraction is just taking away. So subtraction is just like this. Hmm. Oh, that's subtraction. <gasps> Eating is like subtraction. Wow. All right. So if I made this into a subtraction um, word problem, it would say two minus one equals one. <gasps> this is the funnest math I've ever had. The tastiest math for sure. Let's try this again. All right, I'm going to put four Skittles here on my hand. So if I wanted to do subtraction, oh, sorry. Oh, I gotta fix my hair. Oh, okay. So we have some Skittles here. There are four Skittles. If I take away three, let's see how many are left. So four, take away three, mm, is one. Oh my goodness. Could you do this subtraction game with your family and show them how to do subtraction? Now, you know, we talk about being polite. Being polite means that you do not take the cookies from your brother and eat them right out of his hand. You do not take the, the mints away from your grandmother. You do not do those things. You ask your mom for some candy and you don't take it away from anyone. You just eat it from your own pile, okay? Talk about being polite. Please be polite. Okay, now uh, excuse me while I'm eating my Skittles. We have a sight word today. Our sight word is so. Can you guys think of a sentence with the word so in it? Hmm, hmm. Excuse me for my manners of chewing in front of you and eating with my mouth open, sorry. Hold on. Okay, did you think of a word with the word a sentence with the word so in it. I thought of one. <clears throat> I am so old. So, that's a great example. All right, today you are going to learn about, about subtraction. You're going to learn about the word so, and you are even going to talk about temperature. So we, today you're going to have a science project where you're going to need two cups. See my two cups? You're going to fill the two cups with water. And then you are going to put them in different places in the house. Oh, um, sorry, outside of your house. So you're going to put, sorry, mom, just a second. <laughs> okay, sorry, we had some visitors. Um, you're going to put a cup in the shade and you're going to put a cup in the sun. Your job is to find out which, um, which cup gets the warmest and which one is the coldest. Now I have an, a hypothesis. A hypothesis means that I have a guess. I think I know which one will be the coldest. Do you know which one will be the coldest? <clears throat> well, you're going to do this experiment to find out. Now, I wish that I had a thermometer, but in my old age, I lose many things and I lost my thermometer. I cannot tell you what the temperature will be in these cups. You might not have a thermometer either. If you don't have a thermometer, that's okay because you have a finger. So you're going to, so after you take these outside and you leave them for a while, one in the sun and one in the shade, you are going to test it and see if they're the same temperature or if one is colder than the other. Now, if it's raining today, you might have to change the experiment a little bit and maybe one could go outside and one could go inside, okay? I am so excited to hear about your experiments. And um, <clears throat> Mrs. K told me about a thing called the Instagram. <clears throat> Instagram, um, she said you could hashtag, hashtag um, Mrs. K Kinders and you could share your picture with Mrs. K. She said she'd like that an awful lot. All right, well, you were a great class. You were mighty silent and I really appreciate that. What polite students we have. All right, well, 
I have to do this thing later called the word games. Do you know what word games are? <clears throat> well, I will be joining you in a moment for those word games. And I hope you have a great April 1st.